Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today, we have launched Alchemy Labs V2. I want to take a few moments to give you a quick tour of Alchemy Labs V2. As you can see, we have retained a lot of features from Alchemy Labs V1 in Alchemy Labs V2. And this includes features like the Ads Explorer, our staking pools, the NFT viewer, and many more. You can see on the home page a few counters for the total transactions, the total snapshots, the SD ads token value, and the total value locked in our balancer pool. We will continue to add more information and counters onto the home page. This will include values and information about the token, about the staking pools, about validators, and many more. As we scroll down, you see links to various exchanges where you can buy ads tokens. Also, you can see an ad banner here on the homepage. And we have also listed the key parameters of this ad that has been shown to you. This ad is a result of an ad auction that has been conducted by Alchemy Ad Exchange. And the key parameters of that ad auction have been listed here. So you see what information is seen on the Ads Explorer, a snapshot of the information that is shown on the Ads Explorer pertaining to this particular ad. Clicking this link will take us directly to the Ads Explorer, which will give you a graphical view of the transactions and the snapshots for the last 15 days. You can see that there seems to be a drop in transactions on the current day but that is due to the day not being complete and the ad impressions still being delivered. As we scroll down, you see the details of each of the bid requests that have been delivered by Alchemy Ad Exchange. By clicking on details, you can see the details of that particular bid request, the flow bid price, the slot ID, and the auction details pertaining to the ad impression that has been delivered. Let us now try and log in to this platform. As we had explained before, we are now moving to a Web3 method of login. So you will no longer be able to log in using your email ID and password. You have to use your primary wallet as a way in which to log in to the platform. Let us now log in using our primary wallet by clicking Connect Wallet. And the pop-up shows that we now support Wallet Connect and a host of other features. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to click on MetaMask and select the wallet, which is my primary wallet, and click Confirm. There is a second transaction that I will have to authorize, and this is to authorize logging in to the account using my primary wallet. So once I click sign, I'm now logged into the platform using my primary wallet. And you can see a notifications button here. Currently, there are no new notifications to see, but any new notifications will pop up on this tab. You can also see your accounts page and the accounts page shows your primary wallet and personal information, including email ID and email status, whether it's been verified or not, and your KYC status, whether it's been verified or not. You can also click on the link wallets and view all the wallets that have been linked to your account. This tab gives you all of your personal information in one screen. You can also see that there is a logout button on the accounts page. If you were to click on the connected wallet and hit disconnect, it will merely disconnect the wallet from the site, but it will not log you out. In order to log out from the account, you will need to click on the logout button. Let us now connect a secondary wallet to the account. Hit connect wallet, select MetaMask, and select your secondary wallet, click next and confirm. 
This now connects my secondary wallet to the account. Let us now try and link a new wallet that is not listed in the linked wallets. So we are going to try and connect a new wallet and link it to this account. In order to do so, you will have to disconnect the current wallet. Click on connect wallet again, select MetaMask and select the new wallet that you want to connect and link to your account. Click confirm. As soon as you have clicked confirm, you should see a pop-up which asks you whether you want to link this wallet to your account. Simply select link wallet and sign the transaction authorizing the new wallet to be linked to your account. There it is. That's your new wallet that is now linked to your account. Let us now see how to change the primary wallet from the current primary wallet to one of the linked secondary wallets. In order to do so, select the wallet that you want to set as your primary wallet and click set as primary. This will pop up your MetaMask and ask you to sign a transaction from the current primary wallet authorizing the change. Once you click on sign, you can see that these instructions have been updated. Now, disconnect the current primary wallet and connect that secondary wallet that you want to assign as the primary wallet. This will pop up another transaction that you now have to sign from the connected wallet authorizing the change to this wallet as the primary wallet. Sign the transaction and this wallet is now assigned as your primary wallet. You can see that on the link wallets page where the new wallet has this green button which shows that this is your primary wallet. Let us now see how to unlink a wallet from your account. In order to do so, you will have to connect the wallet that you want to unlink from your account. In this case, let's say I want to remove this wallet. In that case, I disconnect the current wallet and connect the wallet that I want to unlink. I have now connected the wallet that I intend to unlink. I click on that wallet, scroll down and click remove wallet. This now pops up the MetaMask window asking me to authorize deleting that wallet. Sign the transaction and that wallet is now removed from the account. I have now reconnected my primary wallet. Let's take a look at the staking pools. By clicking on this button, we can go to the soft staking tab. And by default, this tab shows just the live pools, which is currently the ST add soft staking pool. By clicking on this drop down menu and selecting all, you can see all the pools, including the ones that have expired. By clicking on view details, you can see details of the current pool and you can also click enroll into staking and stake your ST ads tokens. What you can also do is if you have staked ST ads tokens from your account, you can select the year and the month and view the number of rewards that you have accumulated as part of each of your wallets. You can change the wallets by the way, by clicking on this drop down menu. Finally, to log out of your account, you can click on the account button and hit log out. This will not only log you out of your account, but also disconnect the connected wallet. I also want to take this opportunity to thank each one of you for all the love and support that you've given Alchemy. And we will keep building 
and keep adding more features to Alchemy Labs. This is the beginning of changing the digital ad ecosystem. Let's yield farm the internet.